Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. This that has been said has just proved that Mazanam Nikano is a cool headed man. He is a cool headed being, he's just a victim of circumstance. Now, as we all know, Mazanam Nikano should be appearing in court on October 4th. And as we all know, anytime he's appearing in court, there will be you know, a seat at home in southeastern states in solidarity to Mazenam Dekano as he will be appearing in court. But surprisingly, Mazenam Dekano have come out to tell his supporters that you don't have to enforce the seat at home on October 4. He said, don't you know, enforce seat at home order on October 4, that is what the IPUB leader in Amdekano have said to his supporters. What is your take to this? This has shown that Mazen Amdekano is also feeling the pains of the evil citizens who are mostly affected by the sit at home order and he is willing, you know, to bear with them and, and will also appreciate his supporters. If the sit at home order is not enforced, well, we would like you to sit tight as we go into the full details of the news. According to what has been said, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, Inam Dikano, on Saturday told his supporters not to enforce a sit at home order on October 4. A federal high court sitting in Umaya is expected to deliver a ruling on jurisdictional issues raised so motto by the court in a fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by Kano against the federal government. However, Kano in a statement through IPOP's lawyer, Ifine Ajo 4 said the clarification became compelling and necessary in view of the avalanche of misleading information on social media and a plagiarism of course has you know he had received pardon from concerned supporters to this effect a gfo advised members of the public to go about their national norm you know their normal business activities on the said day, gave assurance to inform supporters anytime Kano was scheduled to appear in court. Let members of the general public be properly informed and appropriately guided that we have the firm instruction of Oyendu Mazi Inamdi Kano to inform the public, lovers of freedom, and Umuchineke that Oyendo would not be coming to court on the fourth day of October 2022. As such, Oyendo neither directed, approved, nor authorized anyone to declare a seat at home on that date, a GO4 said. Meanwhile, the Apple lawyer stated that the main suit challenging the extraordinary rendition of Inamdi Kano viewed before the Federal High Court Abuja against the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Anor in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 462 slash 2022 and the suit challenging the constitutionality or otherwise of the 2022 practice direction on the trial of terrorism offenses filed against the chief judge of the federal high court and annul in suit number FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 550 slash 2022 are equally coming up for hearing next week. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brain development? We've just heard what has been said. We've just had the full details of Mazenam Nikano's statements saying that don't enforce it at home on October 4. Now, it was reviewed by 
IPOP's lawyer, he find a job for you know giving the clarification, saying that it became compelling and necessary in view of the avalanche of misleading information on social media, and even a plethora of calls he had received concerning you know supporters to this effect. And a job for already advised members of the public to go about their normal business activities on the said date and also give assurance for informed supporters anytime Kano was scheduled to appear in court. What is your take to this? It has also been said that Mazinabi Kano, you know, will not be coming to court on the fourth day of October, you know, 2022. And as such, Oyendu neither directed, approved, nor authorized anyone to declare a seat at home on that date. That's what a job for has stated. Who would like you to let us know your own point of view to this? Who would like you to share your own reaction with us? Via the comment section, but before we go, let's people start on this. Mohammed Bu, you know, Buddha reacted to this and said, Inamdi Kano will not get away freely. He will face full rot of all the crimes he committed in and outside Nigeria. He was supposed to have been you know, persecuted. That is our reaction from Buddha. We can see him the same way we have lovers of Inamdi Khan, that is why we also have haters of him. A lot of people believe that Mazen Namdi Khan is a criminal and one of them is Mohammed Buddha. Who well, have said, Kano will not get away freely. He said he will face the full rot of all the crimes he has committed. As a lover of Biafra, do you think Mazen Namdi Khan actually has committed crimes in and outside Nigeria? And you think he should be punished for those crimes he committed? What is your take to this? Janin Solomon said, God bless Mazen Namdi Kano and may God use us, or use you, pardon, to restore back the sovereign states of Biafra. That is another reaction from Solomon, who have, you know, shown us that the same way we have lovers, that the same way we have haters. Just like Buddha have said, that he should have been persecuted. We also have Solomon who have said, God bless Mazen Namdi Kano and... May God use you to restore back the sovereign states of Biafra. What is your take to this? Different reactions from the different people who would like you to let us know your own thoughts to this. Victor Faraday said, The only man that gives us, you know, that gives our enemies sleepless nights, even in detention of his enemies. Long live Mazi Inamdikanu, despite the fact that he has been detained, is still giving our enemies and his enemies sleepless nights. This is a clear indication of a true leader. Long live Mazi Inandikanu. That is what has been said. We would like you to let us know your own point of view concerning this. That has been said. Don't forget that Mazi Inandikanu has encouraged his supporters not to enforce the sit at home order on October 4. Thank you guys for listening. To subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.